Hello everybody, this is Anthony Matheny. Um, I'm doing a review today of the Radeon HT 6970. I finally picked up a couple of them here off of uh, Newegg, so I figured I'd put one of them in. Go ahead and do some benchmarks and stuff on it. Um, so anyways, uh, here's what it looks like on the box. Um, I have already taken it out, um, done a couple tests on it, things like that. Um, but here's the box. Um, as you can see, I got the Battlefield Vietnam Edition, um, and it does come with the full game. Um, I noticed when you get the game, though, um, you either have the option of getting Vietnam for free, or you can put the promo code in and you actually get Battlefield Bad Company 2 for free, but it doesn't come with the uh, code for Vietnam, or at least it didn't for me. I may have done that wrong, I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, um, so yeah. Here's the box. Um, I'll go ahead and open it and show you. I've been into everything here, but um, I'll show you what's inside of the package that you're getting. It's a little bit hard to open this up with one hand here. Okay, there we go. Alright, and then you have inside a nice little box here. And, of course, you have your main section here, which is where uh, the graphics card comes in, obviously. Um, yeah, you get all that stuff. Anyways, and then you get a box up here. It comes with uh, all the stuff you'll need. Um, comes with your Sapphire Select Gold Club. Uh, instruction manual and the installation for your drivers um, also included it does come with a Molex to 6 pin which I actually wouldn't recommend using um, I don't like them personally I prefer just using the straight um, 6 and 8 pins but anyways you do have that and then you have a Molex double Molex to 8 pin. Um, of course, this edition it does come with a HDMI cable. And you know, you get all your little adapters and everything like that. Here's another little adapter here that you get with it. And of course, Crossfire, you get your little crossfire thing and also a DVI to VGA adapter so that's pretty much everything you get in the box there um, I'll go ahead and show you the card in the system give you a little bit of an idea uh, how big it is things like that alrighty So here's the car inside of my computer, and as you can see, it is a pretty big card. Not sure how well you can see that. Um, but that is the Vietnam version, how you can't tell. Um, the fans underneath it on there, no, it's upside down, you probably can't hear me very well. Um, and then I got these straight 6 and 8 pins going into the side here. It does take two of them to run it. Um, and then you got your crossfire bridges right there. And on the back you get, I believe it's dual DVI. Uh, I'm not sure. There's a couple other ports back there that I really can't see that well. Um, but yeah, you do get your dual DVI support and pretty much a bunch of different options to go with. I did notice it doesn't have a VGA output on it, but I guess that's what the adapter goes for. Um, anyways, I do actually have um, the Unreal, well not Unreal, but the Unit Engine Heaven benchmark running right now on the computer. 
as you can see it's running pretty good this is with tessellation on um, what is it 1680 by 1050 resolution everything turned on high get a little bit of a frame rate drop during the day 42 frames per second uh, which isn't too bad I mean it's definitely one of the better cards there and you can see all the tessellation and everything on all the stuff and we'll go ahead and run a benchmark really fast and I will come back when the benchmark everybody. is done. I went ahead and finished the benchmark here and I'll go ahead and show you the max frames per second, the minimum. Uh, the average was 42, which scores at a 1,081. Uh, the minimum frames per second is 19.3. Max FPS is 103.5. Uh, it is running the 32-bit version. However, it is on a 64-bit OS. And we're testing on an AMD Phenom 2 X4 940 processor uh, with 3000 megahertz. And also it is the AT AMD, sorry, Radeon HD 6900 series with 2 gigs of memory on itself. Uh, it is rendering in DirectX 11, 1680 by 1050 full screen. Shaders high, textures high, filter trilinear. I do have Androstopy, Tropy, sorry, disabled. Um, occlusion is enabled, refraction enabled, volumetric enabled, tessellation extreme. So there is the 6970 single card. That's not crossfire, mind you. That is just one single card running the unit engine heaven benchmark all right well i hope you guys enjoyed this review um, i'll be posting more specs up on it here later on probably doing some other benchmarks and stuff and thanks for watching guys